So this is why we're getting the responses from women that's saying, oh, all men are crap because they're 40 plus and single living with cats and dogs. And now they're finally experiencing men disqualify them. They go into the club and got to pay for their own drinks. They're on these dating apps and niggas are just hitting it, quitting it or seeing them and like, ah, yeah, I'm good, ma. Like they're finally getting these negative reactions from men. But let's bring up uh, Joe Bass. Uh, Joe Bass, I think I'm, uh, let me get your name and where you're from. Uh, so I don't want to say my real name. Can you hear me? I could hear you loud and clear. Yep. So my first name is Juliana from Connecticut. <laughs> Hey, Joanna, how's it going? Good. Um, my first time in any podcast, I listened to plenty of them. Yep. Um, I really connect to you because I think that you tell a lot of truth, but you do it respectfully like that. Um, I'm a little nervous because I don't usually do this, but. I'm just... All good. Thank you for joining the stream. Uh, what would you like to speak about today? So with the previous caller, you were talking about the. Um, uh, Eve thing with the snake. The snake approached Eve because she was more susceptible and more influential. And I agree with you. I think the snake did that on purpose. But what is your opinion on like how Adam responded to that? Because when God called on Adam, because he was the leader, he sort of did not take accountability. He threw it back in God's face and said, hey, it's the woman you gave me. Okay. Uh, I think I understand this question. You, your audio kind of went down. Maybe it's the hair got in the way. So yeah. I, I I couldn't really hear you real clear. Um, you know what? I'm going to have you repeat that again because you got the um, the AirPods. And so I think the audio is picking up from there. Say that to me one more time. I know you were speaking about Adam and Eve and how God perceived they, uh, um, so, Adam not taking accountability. So say that to me again. Right. So in Genesis 3, 9 through 12, when... Um, yeah. God calls upon Adam. Mm -hmm. He knows that Eve has done something. Right? He calls in him into a camp. He says, hey, I heard you, but I hid because I realized I was naked. So God asked him, who told you you were naked? Oh, and, yeah. Okay. Yep. And that's when he said, well, the woman you gave me fed me from the tree, and so I ate it. Okay. And what's your question? So my question is, Adam didn't take accountability there, did he? And he was the first man. Uh, no, Adam didn't take accountability. Um, I would say that he didn't take accountability because he ate the apple that Eve gave him. Um, I would say that if anything, Adam was explaining uh, what transpired. Adam also knew he did wrong. So he knew he did wrong. And then when God said something, he then first responded and said, hey, he explained. I mean, we could I could grant it and say, you know, maybe Adam didn't take accountability, which is, you know, human nature. All there's many men that don't take accountability for current day things. Um, the thing is, it's not to nitpick on who's not taking accountability it's to the thing is when um the man naturally feels consequences from his actions i'll say it again like adam he naturally felt consequences to his actions did god even speak to eve no god spoke to adam right so think about it even within adam's actions He's the one that felt the consequence of it. Now you will die <laughs> and your kids will die. You know what I mean? So you're going to live within sin. So when a man does things wrong, uh, the, the, his experience, he always experienced consequences. The thing is, the reason why we speak about it in these type of conversations and these podcasts, women taking accountability because the reality of it when women do wrong, there's always a man that's there to take the consequences for the woman. And the biblical story explains that. So there are women that's overweight. There's women that is rambunctious and masculine, but there's still a simp in her DMs. 
that will say, baby, you gorgeous. I'll take you out. So does she <laughs> really feel the consequences of her poor decisions? She really doesn't feel the consequences. The only time she feels the consequences of her poor decisions when we're speaking about dating and relationships is when she's, you know, 40 plus and single and living at home with cats and dogs. And then her response to everything is all men are crap. Well, you're not taking accountability because why are like, like now you, you're, you're actually get feeling the consequences of not taking accountability because now it's like you're past your prime. So these guys, you don't qualify for, for anymore. You only qualify for sex and that's it. And now you finally understand it. So this is why we're getting the responses from women that's saying, oh, all men are crap because they're 40 plus and single living with cats and dogs. And now they're finally experiencing men disqualify them. They go into the club and got to pay for their own drinks. They're on these dating apps and niggas are just hitting it, quitting it or seeing them and like, ah, yeah, I'm good, ma. Like they're finally getting these negative reactions from men. But when they were in their 20s, maybe even early 30s, maybe early 20s without no kids and all this baggage, the world was their oyster. Accountability, what? what? Count they accountability just miss them because another nigga catch it like here i catch it you got four kids ah, i caught the accountability girl i take care of you come on in like it's always a dude to take the accountability and that story that you just told proves what i'm saying is correct i didn't see it that way actually i was like oh yeah he didn't take accountability he kind of said hey it's the woman you gave me so i felt like he was just throwing it back in god's face yeah but the truth is is that he's the one that felt the consequences Eve didn't really feel the direct consequences from God. Like Adam felt those consequences. So it's like, yeah, man, Adam saved Eve from her poor decision. <laughs> if you truly being honest, she didn't have to deal with the full direct wrath of God and that full direct communication. Like, you know, Adam, the reason why he was hiding, cause he like, Dean, this is God. <laughs> and I, I didn't listen to him. Just like, oh, okay. All right. God, uh, yeah, well, the dang woman you provided me. <laughs> like, like he got to go ahead and give that sob story. Like, yeah, the dang woman you provided me, man. Yeah, she convinced me. I didn't eat the apple. So, yeah, like, Eve didn't have to want to come up and say, hey, God, yeah, sorry. No, it was Adam that had to do that. So he felt the consequences from it. Of course, then, you know, Eve, of course, felt consequences because she's going to die, too. And she's, you know, sees herself naked. She's living in shame and things like that. So, yeah, but... You get what I'm saying? I really greatly appreciate it. I mean, you broke it down very well. I didn't see that angle. And I appreciate it. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, good question. Good question. It's uh, And it's my first time having this conversation. I'll tell you this. The reason why I can have conversations and give different perspectives on a fly is because I always try to view the world outside of myself. Um, you know, many people have a perception and their perception is unique is to them. It's good. Everyone has their own unique perception and most people operate from that standpoint and they're able to perceive things based off their experiences. Um, a small percentage of people have the ability, which is, it's an art of a perspective and that's the seeing the world outside of yourself and, and critically thinking. If you're always thinking like when you bring this question up, I had to think like, okay, all right, this makes sense. I see what you're saying. But all right, let me actually get outside of myself and put my shoes if I was actually Eve and Adam and God and living in it. And then I just came up with that on the fly. And yeah, I even gave myself goosebumps as I was explaining it because I'm like, God dang, this does make actual logical sense. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it happens all the time on no fugazi podcast i appreciate you and uh i'm gonna get to the next caller okay have a great night you too all right chat we do a live you know get people that 